Hi guys, Joyna Gooch here. Um, today I have a bit of a cold and a cough, but that's okay because today we're going to be doing a DIY, so I'm sure that will make me feel better. So, today we're going to be joined by Amy. Hi guys. So, what DIY are we going to do today? We're going to be making some Play-Doh. Cool. So, the Play-Doh has five, five ingredients. ingredients. Even though we're a bit old to be making Play-Doh, mm. <laughs> um, we are still making it, so that's great. Let's get on to doing it. You will need a large mixing bowl, a spoon, a wooden spoon, a blunt knife, and a mixing cup with the mills and cups. So, um, for the ingredients, you're going to need two cups of flour, plain flour like this, um, but that's only one, obviously. That's the equivalent to 300 grams of flour. You're also going to need one, a half a tea, sorry, half a cup of salt, which is the equivalent to 125 grams. And you'll need some of the sunflower oil or olive oil. Um, two tablespoons of that, which is the equivalent to 30 mils. And we're going to be using this little table thingy to measure how many mils. <coughs> You're also going to need one and a half cups of boiling water, which is the equivalent to 375 mils of boiling water. You might also need some food colouring, but we don't have any, so we're not going to be colouring our Play-Doh, but feel welcome for you to have all sorts of different colours that you can mix together. This recipe will make four fist-sized balls of Play-Doh, but we're going to be doubling the recipe, so we'll have eight. By the way, guys, um, this recipe isn't actually our recipe, it's just one that we found in a magazine. So firstly, you need to get to your bowl. And you need to get your um, two cups of flour and pour that into the bowl. Then you need to have, because this is a one cup, a, a one cup thingy, a uh, one cup. So you obviously need to get one whole cup again, because that was only one cup, so two cups of flour. Now that we have both our cups of flour, we're going to add our salt. So, half a cup of salt into the bowl. Perfect. Then we're going to get our oil and our measuring, uh, just our little measuring cup, not the jug yet. And pour 30 mils of oil or two tablespoons if it's easier for you. Pour your 30 mils of oil into the bowl. So now you need to get your measuring jug and put the 375 mils of boiling water into there, or one and a half cup. This is the kettle boiling. So have a wooden spoon at the ready, have your hot water boiled, boiling hot water, very hot, so be careful, and gently, and gently pour, pour, pour it in. in. Yes, pour it in. So just very gently, because you don't want it splashing onto you, because that will not be funny. And start mixing it. It's already starting to get really gooey. Oh, this is cool. Have you ever done this before? No. We've never done this before, guys. This is our first time. If it flops, it flops, and it flops. So, yeah. Maybe we should have practiced. Yep, but, you know... Nothing bad to... Yeah, it's the still hot, still guys. Hot. Yeah, tell them the caution. It's too hot to uh, touch. The cup is still hot to touch. I just learnt that by burning myself. <laughs> yeah. Careful, guys. <laughs> Make sure you have all the flour from, under from underneath and on the sides. Now, you sprinkle flour all over the table so the dough doesn't stick. Not too much. Okay. Perfect. So we're going to turn out the dough from sure, the bowl. Sure, we've mixed it enough. Yeah, I hope so. We can always knead it. And use your knife. Get your knife. Get your knife. And split it into four pieces. Whoop! 
Is it hot? Oh, it's hot. Oh, it feels nice, man. Oh, cut it into four. You know what? Should we need it first? Yeah, need it first. Okay, so. Wait. Oh, cool. This and feels it. so nice. I know. Oh my gosh. I've got loads Feel more it. Things. Oh, it's getting more on my finger every time. Feel this, guys. It's so nice. So we've added quite a lot more flour because it's quite sticky in the middle, especially. Still need a tiny bit. Oh, that's very sticky. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you can just make a little well in the middle and then put flour in and... Hope it goes well. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, guys, if you want to make colour, what you need to do is you make it into a roughly quite like a ball like this. It depends how many colours you want to make, but we're, for example, you're going to make four, cutting the dough in half and then cutting it into quarters like so. And that gives you the four fist size balls. And then what you can do is you can take one and make a little well in the middle like so and put the colour inside a few drops of food colouring and then just knead it like we are doing right now until all the colour is everywhere on the dough but obviously we don't have any food colouring which is sort of annoying you put it in, but it's already in there. yes so we fasten them out and here they are these two aren't much bigger they're exactly the <coughs> same size it's just we flatten them I all flattened. yes so now we're going to make another batch and we'll have eight balls the next time we see you. So now we've made eight balls of play dough and we, we did a presentation. We did a sausage, a really long one as you can see, another one, and a mask for me. <laughs> He treats me with respect He says he loves me all the time He calls me 15 times a day He likes to make sure that I'm fine You know I've never met a man Who's made me feel quite so secure He's not like all them other boys They're all so dumb and immature That's just one thing that's getting in the way When we go up to bed You're just no good, it's such a shame dad with the play-doh oh I'm never gonna do the same again <laughs> <laughs> look we've got the mask it's okay look now my dad Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching how to make the play dough and bye from me and Amy.